In this video, we will be looking at the DHCP relay agent. So what is a DHCP relay agent? It's an agent that delivers dynamic host configuration protocol messages between a DHCP client and a DHCP server, which are located on different IP networks. So, so why is this needed? Well, you'll find that many DHCP messages are sent by broadcast. You'll have the DHCP discover packets. When a DHCP client initially tries to log onto a network, it requests an IP address from a DHCP server by broadcasting a DHCP discovery packet. Then you'll have the DHCP offer packets. Now these can be either unicast or broadcast, but upon receiving a DHCP discovery packet, the server is going to respond with a DHCP offer of an IP address. You'll have the DHCP request packet. As soon as the DHCP client receives a DHCP offer from the server, it replies by broadcasting a DHCP request packet showing that it has accepted the IP address that was offered. And then you'll also have DHCP acknowledgement packets where the DHCP server sends a response to the DHCP request from the client. So what's the problem then? The problem is that routers don't forward broadcast messages. If we have a DHCP client that requires an IP address which is connected to a router on one subnet, let's say that that sub subnet is the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network, and we have a DHCP server also connected to the router but on a different IP network, let's say that this is the 10.1.1.0 slash 24 network, then when the DHCP client initially tries to request an IP address from the server by broadcasting a DHCP discovery packet, it will never reach the server because routers do not forward broadcast messages. So what's the solution? We can configure the router as a DHCP relay agent. What this will mean is that the router will receive broadcast messages from the DHCP client and forward them onto the DHCP server as unicast messages. Once the DHCP server replies, the router will then receive the unicast message from the DHCP server and forward them on to the DHCP client as broadcast messages. Let's take another look at our network topology. This time, we're going to configure the router's interface which is facing the DHCP client with an IP helper address. This allows DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol broadcast messages to be forwarded onto our DHCP server as unicast messages. So the client sends a discovery message to the router. The router then relays those as unicast messages to the DHCP server. Now, as long as the server has a route back to the relay agent, here we have a static route configured, then the server can respond with a unicast DHCP offer message, offering the client an IP address and the relay agent then forwards this onto the DHCP client. The client then broadcasts a DHCP request packet indicating that it accepts the IP address that was offered by the server, which the relay agent again forwards onto the DHCP server. The server replies to the relay agent with an acknowledgement message, and the router then forwards this onto the DHCP client, which installs this IP address. This is our network topology. We have a virtual host which will act as our DHCP client and that is going to be connected on VMNet1. We have a router which is connected to the DHCP client and also the router is connected to the DHCP server on the 10.1.1.0 network. For this lab we will be using a Cisco router as the DHCP server and I already have set up a DHCP server and we've got the router. The IP addressing is all that's been set up so the DHCP server should be able to ping its default gateway. 
if we ping 10.1.1.1 which it can and we will also have a look at the IP addressing on the router so if I do a show IP interface brief and I'm going to say exclude the unassigned addresses and we can see that both interfaces are up we have Ethernet 0 slash 0 connecting to the DHCP server and we have Ethernet 0 slash 1 connecting to the DHCP client. Now to have a look at the DHCP client's configuration, we could open up the control panel and we could just double click which adapter we want, which is VMNet 1, and we could have a look at its details. In the details we can see that there's no DNS assigned, it has a default IP version 4 address and there's no gateway assigned. Another way that we could also look at this same information is if we were to go on our start menu, type in command, cmd, sorry, not command, and type ip config. Now we will look for the adapter that we're looking for. What we're looking for is vmnet1. If we scroll up to vmnet1, and we can see that it's the same information here. It's a bit more verbose in this vmnet1 screen here but we can see that it's 169.254.127.88 with a slash 16 network so let me minimize that and close this off i'm going to do the dhcp configuration on the server so if i do conf t now the first thing i always do is the excluded addresses so we want to exclude the address of the router so we say ip dhcp excluded addresses is 192.168.1.254 which is the router's E01 interface also what I want to do I want this DHCP client to have the first address in the range but I don't want it to have any address below dot 100 so I will say from 1 as the low address and then 192.168.1.100 I want those excluded so the address should be 192.168.1.101 that the DHCP server assigns to the DHCP client. Then I could get onto the DHCP configuration. Say IP DHCP pool, and we're just going to call it a test pool. The network will be 192.168.1.0 on a slash 24. Okay. What I need to do is put a space here. So I say space, space, slash 24. We're gonna lease, we're gonna have the lease for one hour, I'm sorry, one day and one hour. The domain name that it will use will be routercoach.com. And we need to also have the default gateways address. So it's called the default router, and that is 10.1.1.1. Excellent. Additionally, we also need the DHCP server to have a route to this address, the 192.168.1.0 address. So we'll say IP route to get to the 192.168.1 network on the slash 24, we're going to use our default gateway. That's it. Excellent, that's the configuration on the DHCP server. Then, um, let's add some debugs here to see what's happening. So we say D, do debug IP DHCP server packet and also server events. And on the router, we say interface Let's do the debugs first. Do debug IP DHCP server packet and server events. Then we say interface E0 slash 1 IP helper address. IP helper address and also we're going to need the address of the server 10.1.1.2 
Now we can see some addresses coming through. And we see here, if I do a, just stop those, do, So debugging's been turned off. And we can see that the address assigned by the server is 192.168.1.101 on a 24, on a slash 24. And we could also do that by running a show IP DHCP bindings. And this will also show the same information here. So if we now go back to the VMware connection, VMNet1, double click this and press details, we can see that the DNS is, the domain name is routercoach.com. It's been assigned an IP address of 192.168.1.101. It has a slash 24 subnet mask. It got this address on the 4th of February, 2016 at 1248. The lease expires in one day and one hour. The default gateway is 10.1.1.1 and the, the DHCP server is 10.1.1.2. Thanks for watching. I hope you watch the rest of my videos. Have a look at routedcoach.com for any more and press the like button if you would like to see more of these CCNA videos.